Hello everybody, Christian from the Coin Dictionary here, and today we're going to be speaking about the 1997 United Kingdom or Great Britain 50 pence coin, going over its value, its backstory and history, its historical context, as well as its mintage and really everything you want to know about it. So before we get into it, a quick word from our sponsor, MA Shops. MA-Shops.com is a trusted online marketplace with ancient US and world coins, as well as paper money, stamps, and other collectible items. They have a really nice selection so head on over to that website to check their coins out but this coin will start with the back which was engraved by christopher ironside we see britannia which is sort of the embodiment of liberty and the country as a whole of the united kingdom um, and she appears on many of their older coins so it's just a really classic reverse design um, and she's got the union jack on her shield which is their flag the line is the only different part the 50 pence um, 1971, they switch over from a sterling uh, 240 um, pence, make one pound. Um, then the new pence comes along 1971. So for a while it was saying uh, new 50 new pence, but in 1981 they switch over, and since then it's just been the 50 pence on the back of this equilateral curve heptagon, meaning seven-sided coin with these little curves. We've got Queen Elizabeth II, who's been reigning since 1952, on the front, and that DG ref. FD is going to mean a reg FD, Elizabeth II, by the grace of God, Queen Defender of the Faith. This is engraved by Raphael David McClough. Um, and in terms of the size of the coin, it's eight grams. Um, it's a little bit larger than a U.S. quarter um, and is metal aligned, meaning that you can flip it this way and the design stays upright now the interesting thing is this is one of the most minted 50 pence coins out there there's 456 million 364 thousand 100 of them made and as such it's really tied to the exchange rate there's not much value in really nice uncirculated condition maybe it would be worth about two us dollars um, there's also some proof versions that are worth like four dollars and there's only eighty thousand of those made they're not particularly challenging to locate though um, but the average one is going to be worth about 65 or 70 cents just off of that exchange rate, and that could go anywhere. But it's a lot better than the average world coin, so if you see it in a junk bin or something like that, pick it out. There's some nice exchange rate, and it's still circulating, so you can just spend it. Uh, you don't even need to take it to a bank like some of the older ones. So that brings us to the conclusion of this video, and I've got some similar coins in the future to discuss as well. Thanks for watching the video. My name's Christian, and I own The Coin Dictionary, and I'd also encourage you to visit us at our website, thecoindictionary.com, and on Instagram at thecoindictionary. And I'd also like to draw your attention to some other helpful coin resources, such as my other YouTube channel, Treasure Town, which does more in-depth videos about coins and collectibles, as well as some resources like coinmeltprice.com, which shows up-to-date Precious Metals Pricing, as well as the melt values of the coins that you own, CoinsMetalsCards.com, which will both be a marketplace and a news source for coins, metals, and cards, as the name suggests, as well as What'sTheGrade.com, which will develop into a stickering service for already graded collectibles. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of our other videos.